everybody and welcome to my video for get ready for doo 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 Lady Midnight What Just have a moment Now on to the rest of the video, as I, anybody on BookTube has probably known for months. Gee, what book is Amanda really looking forward to? Uh, Lady Midnight. <laughs> you can't tell. I, I just finished the book today. Now I have to wait for the second book. Do we know for sure whether it's two years until the sequel? Or I heard somewhere where she might come out with a sequel for this next year, along with the first book for last hours. I'm not sure. It's kind of weird because with, you know, the firm devices and more lunchmas, there's like alternating years, so we really have to wait two years. I mean, okay, there's going to be spoilers. This is a discussion video on the book. This is not a spoil-free review, which to me translates to, let me read you the summary. And that's it. Okay, um, which ironically is what I'm going to do to just, uh, sum up the plot. Here, let me just look at this real quick. Um, I'm, I'm just going to do a summarized version of the summary. Uh, this book, if you guys haven't heard of it or read anything online, it's about Emma Carstairs, who is a descendant of Jem Carstairs from the Firm Devices, and this is the book starts five years after City of Heavenly Fire ended, after the Dark War. And uh, this book is about Emma and her uh, parabatai, Julian Blackthorn. Um, well, it was mostly Emma, but, you know, Julian supports her, obviously. And uh, trying to find her parents' killer. And then... These, um, murders start happening because this book takes place in the L.A. Institute, not New York. And, um, there's these, uh, mundane and fairy, uh, killings happening and then these fae, the, well, these three fae come and say, you know, like, you can, Mark can come back help you solve this murder, but it's up to him whether he's, he comes back to the hunt, the wild hunt, who can, you know, kidnapped him at the end of City of Family Fire, or if he wants, or if he wants to stay with his family. And they never thought they were going to see Mark again, so this is obviously no big deal. And just a lot of stuff happens in this book. So that's just like the basic summary that launches this whole book off. Oh, and, um, what's Fade's first name? Wait, let me look it up. Um, just a moment. Oh, Malcolm Fade. He's a high warlock of, um, L.A., Anyway, um, let's see. Now that we've talked about the plot, well, it's a short summary because the book says a lot more and I don't want to, like, read for the next, you know, five minutes or, or a couple minutes, whatever. Uh, characters. Um, I love Emma and I love all the Blackthorns family members and I love Christina. She's a nice uh, add to the, addition to the books. And also, of course, love the guest appearance of Magnus in there a couple times. And... Eh, just a moment. Um, the, the Jason, and Clary, and Tessa, and Jam, and... Yay! And Simon, and Izzy. Oh my god, that block. 
both the epilogue and the um, in this book, major cliffhanger. Thanks a lot, Miss Cassie. Thanks a lot. This book, oh my gosh, um, there's so much going on. Plus, like, like you go from being happy to having your heart ripped out to, like being upset to being angry, like, all was in, like, a chapter, it seems like. It's like, you're just, like, going up and down, and up and down, like a roller coaster. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, my, fa my favorite male character, hands down in this book, that, of the new, char of the new characters, is Julian. That boy, young man, is freaking amazing. I mean, seriously, he is. He is so... F I am, like, completely... I completely love him so much. I love Emma, too, but Julian's just on a whole nother level how amazing he and proud I am of him. He's just an amazing character, an amazing person. Um... And, uh, okay, my next category is shifts that have to happen. Who do you think my number one is? Come on. Raise your hand. Gemma. Julian and Emma have to happen in this freaking trilogy. They've set this up. They've made us attached to these two, like, since in, since Sin of Heavenly Fire. So, I have an idea. Hmm. I came up with an idea on how to get out of this and have this make us happy because if they, if Emma and Julie don't happen, uh no, 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 not even going to go there. I think, because it's fiction and we can do whatever we want, that Clary comes up with a room where either Julian and Emma can be Parabatai and a couple, like, it's creating a room that makes it possible to, like, you know, depower the Parabatai thing, and that's why they can't be together and all that. Because, oh my god, these two have so much love and passion and friendship and everything between them. It just has to happen. Not, not just for a few, for this book, it has to happen, like, forever. So either Claire can create a room where they can be Parapetai and a couple, or I thought of another room that, you know, could just pop into Clary's head at some random time. What about a transference room? Where, um, Christina could be Emma's Parapetai and Mark could be, um, Julian's. That could work too. But I think more likely would be the rune where they could, that would be a new, brand new rune, obviously, because that's what Clary does. That, where they could be, you know, Parapetai and together without, you know, the whole going mad and hurting people and each other and all that stuff. And my other people that I think should be together, not as much as Gemma, but I want... Um, Christina and Mark together. I do. I ship them so hard. Not as hard as Gemma. But really hard. I don't want her with Diego. I don't have anything against him. I just think he's like, he's your ex. Leave him in the past. You and Mark. Please. Have her and Mark be together. Um, I don't want... I'm kind of glad that Mark kind of broke things off with of Kieran because he... He was gonna be with Kieran, then he'd have to go back to the hunt and leave his family. He's he should not do that. We don't want to pull a Bella. And when I say pull a Bella, I mean put whoever you're dating above your friends and family and everything else in your life. Don't do that, Mark. Please, don't. don't, don't. But we we all know what decision he made at the end of the book. So way to go, Mark. Um. Let's see, what other thoughts do I have? 
about this book. Um, I love the book. I think it's amazing. Uh, the cliffhangers are gonna drive me nuts. Um, I love Emma and, and Julian. I think they need to be together. Just like Jason and Clary needed to be together. And we all know how much Miss Cassie screwed with them over the six books. I mean, how much time were really Clary and Jace actually happy and together? Very little time. Um, oh, let me talk about the, um, bonus. See, and I hope my roommate doesn't hear me because he's, yeah, I don't want to give him spoilers. But with, you know, Clary and Jace and Izzy and Simon and Magnus and Alec in the, um, it's not an epilogue, it's like a bonus scene kind of thing, like right before Clary and Jason on that portal to L.A. This is, I didn't know that at first, because I kind of cheated, because I want to know how many scenes um, that Emma and Julian had together, you know, like romantic, naughty scenes. And I accidentally saw who the killer was before it was revealed, but I didn't know how they got to that conclusion or why. Oh, yeah, I was talking about the um, bonus, uh, p bonus story, you know, uh, Simon and Isabel's engagement party. So happy about that. Oh, Clary better say yes to Jace. As often said, she better say yes, and that better happen. And it better be a long, beautiful scene when that happens. And then Alec and Magnus have two Boys they've adopted, aww, little warlock and shadow hunter, and one little warlock child and one shadow hunter child named Max and Raphael. Aww. I'm happy actually that Alec and Clary get along now. I was like, finally, it's about time. Uh, so yeah, I was, and Oh my gosh, Jace was so romantic when he popped the question to Clary. Oh my god, I, I was like tearing up, seriously. I was like, I have to say yes, you. And then they leave his hanging. He's like, what? <laughs> and I don't agree with, back to the story and not the epilogue or bonus content. I don't agree with uh, Emma's plan to fake date Mark. To save, um, Julian. Oh, I don't know. Don't, uh, yeah. First, uh, Mark walks in on Diego and Christina. Why didn't you just tell her how you felt? I mean, he kind of did, but not really detailed way. I mean, um, but I think, um, Emma should have been honest with Julian and told him what Jem told her. Instead of really shattering his heart like Julian needs that. Or deserves that in any way. So hopefully that all works out. And anybody who wants to get on me to like some petition or a campaign or whatever to get Julian and Emma together. Because we don't know how it ends because we're really going to have to wait like literally like four. Wait. Four, four years to find out. The ending of this trilogy, so it could go our way. I hope it goes our way, because if it doesn't, I'll be like, no, don't. Um, to wrap it up, because hmm, I could go on and on and on about how much I love this book. I give this uh, book a five out of five stars. I know, shock. You have I've been talking about this book for months. I'm just so happy after like waiting for three years because literally it was supposed to come out a year ago, but we'd been waiting two years. We'd known about it two years prior to that. Then when I had to find out that wait had to wait a year, I was like, no! Oh my gosh, I'm so like I remember last spring going, oh my gosh, I'm so looking forward to this book. I was like, what do you mean it's been postponed for a year? And then now. Beauty flow. 
<sighs> New book smell. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, well, I was, because I haven't met an Emma and Julian bookmark yet, but I was using my Jace bookmark the whole time I was um, reading this. Jace is the head of the institute, y'all. <laughs> Him and Clary. It's like, didn't see that one coming. I thought it would have been Alec. But, mm. I like how Alec is doing that whole downworlder Shadowhunter alliance thing. It's kind of cool. And, um, Simon's a recruiter. <laughs> Interesting. But, um,. I just like I knew it was gonna happen. Simon and Clary are pair of the time. Let's take a moment for that and all the happiness it brings me. Um, and Chase and Simon are friends. Oh my god, that was like, and I'm an oversensitive idiot. We all know that. Um, anyway, that's been my discussion, review, gush, celebration. Of Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I hope you all enjoy. And I will see you next time. Or you'll see me next time because I can't see you. That would be odd. So good night. Peace.